YouTube, there is no firearms in this video. Welcome back to the Loki Argonar YouTube channel. This episode is going to be the following of my beginner's trapping adventures. Make sure to check out my hunting and exploration playlist if you want to see more. I don't get where this guy went, but usually he goes right there. There's no tracks. This is my fox friend. I'm still thinking about giving him the rough it grows that is in the ditch over there but maybe turn around I don't know he always pass right there so I kind of do want to give him the rough it grows but I don't really care because he's competition to me well I think he went both ways And this is the rough it grew spot. I think he went right where my X snare used to be. Well, there was no tracks whatsoever here yesterday. And I think uh, I took my snare off like two days ago because no bunnies were coming into this forest. But I think he, he literally passed into my snare. Yep, my snare was right there. This is his trail. So, learning experience number one, don't remove snares. Yep, do not remove snares. This right there was my snare setup. And they made a new track coming this way. It's a good day. So I guess this is good signs yet. They moved a lot during the night. They made a lot of new tracks. This forest was clean yesterday. This is where I was a few seconds ago. And now there is a lot of tracks in there. As you can see somewhere. Yep. The squirrel was hungry since last night. Let's hope that we got a bunny, but no tracks in this area yet, so... This is not looking great. I say this, but maybe this is a fresh track. Does look like it. So yeah, nothing. Them foxes really need to stop passing in my snares. I hate them. Why I'm even trying to pass right here? To find some more bunny. Find some more bunny. I'm lucky that we don't have a lot of snow. Looks like they like chilling out here. Well, it did not pass in my snare, but this one has been set by something, I guess, which does look like a bunny and a very big bunny. If I take a look at those feet, I'm kind of sad. This guy will look at huge. They also cross right there. So yeah, I will wait a bit, maybe a few days, still come check on my snares and wait for them to make new trails like this. I guess shit happens. Oops, I got a leg catch. So I need to use my gamo right about now. I had to reset this one because I'm a noob. Where does the guy even came from? 
I think he, he came from my tracks. After better analysis, I think he came from here. I used to have a snare right there, but it got buried. Uh, where, was, where, where was that stick? And now they pass and they shit right next to it. Fun times. Zooming, panning. This is where it came out. Into my trail, of course. Let's try to figure out where it went. I'm stuck. Mm, I don't think so. This does look like it. This is some ginger dog tracks. Hopefully it did not find my snares. The annoying thing about those ginger dogs is that they follow my trails and set my snares. I'm just glad that they don't get caught in it because I cannot trap this with my current license but it is annoying still I don't think that we will find anything let's check the last two snare together I had one right there two days ago but I did not set another snare and this one is chilling right there so one bunny today a leg catch which is not good but is the reason why you do check your snares every day So yeah, this is not how you want things to go, but the snare was too big, I guess, for his head. So, or it didn't close before it got there, so it got stuck by the legs and did not die right away. So, I had to get one in between his eyes with the good old camo trap line tool. It is a sad day for him. But, we will heat him. This is the reason why you check your snares every day and you do not skip one day because this guy would have suffered there for another day or two which is not humane in my opinion. So if you do snare trapping, do it right and eat what you get, obviously. Treat animals with respect and be a good hunter. And don't leave garbage in the wild like that. This is a, a spring spring piston, but I got an IGT on my back, so. This was my trail yesterday. But, but I don't know where it is anymore. I think that's it. Oh shit, that was not, oh, that was not. Yep, this is a snare that I got there yesterday. Not looking good yet. So yeah, I don't think we will catch much. This is my snare. So yeah, this will be the start of a new era, I guess, because 
there's no tracks anymore and I bet that they will make new ones like they did last time before passing where I removed my snares so I guess that's a lesson learned don't remove snares looking at this I came here for nothing but I still have to check my snares to make sure that there is nobody suffering in there and it's a good day I don't know if this is signs of one that traveled last night but if it is it sure snowed quite a bit since there is not a single track in this forest except mines. Oh, it's snowing out here. Thanks, wind. That's cool looking. Will I give up? Will I wait for new tracks and install new snares? I don't know yet. I think I got eight yet this season for my first season, but I might have to wait for new tracks and install new snares which takes a lot of time and it is hard to make videos so yeah like I thought there is nothing in there there is not even a single track for the whole forest so I'm not too confident about finding something in this no I didn't snare I guess it's a try again later case or a give up and take eight bunnies as a good start for a first season who knows I will see y'all home where's the camera on that thing home thanks for watching this trapping vlog Make sure to check out my hunting and exploration playlist if you want more. I still got a few days of footage to edit for the next one, but after this it will be fresh footage with a lot more experience, so hopefully it will turn out better, but who knows? Thank you guys, I will see y'all in the next 